Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the beautiful borough of Brooklyn, BK, Barclays Center. This is really the preeminent East Coast venue for boxing, and this is the final press conference for Garcia versus Benavidez. I'm Brian Custer, the host of Showtime Championship Boxing, and on Saturday, Showtime Championship Boxing, we're right back here, Barclays Center, bringing you a triple header of fights coming your way at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific time. You know, the relationship between Barclays Center, Showtime, it's a special one. And for fans, it means electrifying nights of boxing. This will be Showtime's second visit here to Barclays this year. You know, in May, we were here for the Tank Davis fight, and it broke records for attendance and the highest grossing boxing event ever here at Barclays Center. With a free VIP package to watch Canelo versus Triple G live in Las Vegas. Free tickets, free signed merch, free party at High Lounge, VIP access to the weigh-in. Big thanks to our buddies over at Stagefront for making this possible and partnering with us to go ahead and do this giveaway. You guys gotta check them out. They put together some really cool VIP packages for the fights. Marcos, how do I win this? Click on the link in the description on this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on all social media platforms. Winners are announced August 31st. Now get back to watching this video. Barclays Center has hosted 40 boxing events. Showtime has done more than half of those events. And we're expecting another packed house this coming Saturday because after 19 months away, the longest of his pro career, Danny Swift Garcia, or as he likes to say, the Danny Garcia show is back. And you talk about memorable nights. Listen, he opened this venue back in 2012. It was also his Showtime debut, as you might remember. This will be his ninth fight here at Barclays Center. And his first, though, at 154 pounds. His opponent, somewhat new to the division as well. He's the older brother of the two-time super middleweight champion of the world, Jose Benavidez Jr. The co-main, we got a battle of heavyweights, looking to take that step towards a championship opportunity. You have the Turkish slugger, Ali Aaron Demerizan, taking on a man who has fought over half of his professional fights right here in this building. This will be his 11th pro fight here at Barclays Center. Now, he's Poland born but he was Brooklyn bred and raised babyface, Adam Kovnowski. And then we begin the broadcast with a high stakes matchup at 140 pounds. And I say high stakes because the winner believes that a title shot with a victory is on the horizon. Rancis Bartholomew, former two division world champion and on a quest to become the first Cuban three division world champion. He takes on the unbeaten, former Olympian, the power punching and youngest of that Russell family dynasty of fighters, Gary Antoine Russell. This entire event is brought to you by Premier Boxing Champions. It is being promoted by one of the best in TGB promotions. Tickets going fast for this event on Saturday. You better get them now. And you can get them at SeatGeek.com. You can get them at BarclaysCenter.com. They're also available for purchase right here at the American Express box office here at Barclays Center. We're going to talk to all of the fighters here, talk about their fights. But first, uh, let me bring here to the podium the president 
the GM of Showtime Sports, Steven Espinoza. Thank you, Brian. Showtime's first half of the boxing year from January 1 through now has been one of the best and most comprehensive in, in recent history. 14 total shows with big knockouts, legacy-making fights, big upsets, star-making performances. This Saturday will be show number 15, and we are just now at the end of July. So once again, Showtime is doing fights both in quantity and quality that are setting the bar for the rest of the industry. With respect to this card itself, I'm about as excited about for this card as any as we've done recently. And why is that? Top to bottom, we've got great storylines. We've got name fighters, popular, fan-friendly fighters, high stakes. And it's not just the fights on Showtime. I mean, we have in the prelim stream, we have Sergey Derevinchenko, we have Vito Melnicki, uh, we've got Junior Noonan, you know, on the off TV card as well. We've got quality top to bottom on this card. But headlining the card, of course, is Danny Garcia. You know, having Danny back is good for Barclays, you know, it's good for Showtime, and most of all, it's good for boxing. We all know by this point who Danny is. He fears no one, he hesitates to take no fights. He'll fight everybody and anybody, and he's proven that. That's just the way that Danny and Angel go about their career. Danny's ninth fight at Barclays, ninth at Showtime. He's at home here, just like we are. 14 of Danny's last 19 opponents have been world champions. Think about that again, 14 of his last 19. Among his opponents, Zab Judah, Amir Khan, Lamont Peterson, Polly Malignaggi, Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Errol Spence. It's literally the best in the division during this era. 39 fights, 15 current or future world, uh, excuse me, current or former world champions. He's gone 12 and three against world champions in his career. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a Hall of Fame resume to me. But obviously he's not done. We're thrilled to have him back. When we look at his career, you know, his three losses have come to the best in the division. And a round or two here or there, we could be talking about an undefeated fighter. He you know, won five rounds on two of the cards against Sean Porter. Against Keith Thurman, he won seven rounds on one card and five on another. So it's not an exaggeration to say that another round or two e either way, and we're talking about an undefeated Danny Garcia who is probably unquestionably the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport. Uh, but having said that, here he is after layoff going for another title at super welterweight. Against Jose Benavidez Jr. Jose has got very impressive credentials of his own 27 one and one 18 KOs only loss to one of the pound for pound greats in Terrence Crawford. Benavidez was a amateur prodigy, 11-time national champion. And when he was 16 years old, one of the youngest to ever win national Golden Gloves title. So we've got two guys with great resumes, but at the end of the day, none of that matters when the bells ring, when the bell rings. Um, and what we're going to have, I promise you, is an all-action fight, because neither one of these guys knows how to take a step backwards. In the co-future, co-feature, we will see the return of Adam Konowski to Barclays. As Brian said, this is his home, 11 pro bouts here at Barclays. If you've never been to an Adam Konowski fight at Barclays Center, you're in for a treat. It's one of the best atmospheres in boxing. Uh, the following that Adam has built, uh, look, it is something to behold. He, is bring, he brings out the Polish fans, from throughout the tri-state area, and it is a great, great atmosphere. But you cannot overlook the former t Turkish uh, Olympian, Ali Aaron Demirzian. Demir is in, uh, he is a tough, tough competitor. You may not know his name, but he is a dangerous opponent. Opening the telecast, Gary Antoine Russell 
Um, before we get into it, again, we'd like to express our condolences to Gary Antoine, to Gary Jr., and the entire Russell family on the loss of their father. Um, so it's been a big part of all of their careers. Gary Antoine is now trained by his older brother, Gary Jr., um, and he is one of the few undefeated ranked fighters who have won all of their fights by knockouts. Of the ranked fighters, only four in boxing have won all of their wins by knockout. And for my money, in my opinion, Gary Antoine is probably the most underrated fighter in his division. Again, if you haven't seen a Gary Antoine Russell fight, you're in for a treat. But his opponent, Rancis Bartholomew, He's obviously got his own credentials, a two-division world champion, experienced, skilled, and ex excellent technical fighter, trying to become a first Cuban fighter to win titles in three divisions. The action on Showtime Championship Boxing kicks off at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. The streaming portion of the card will kick off at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, and again, that is Sergei Derevinchenko and Josh Conley and Vito Malnicki Jr. versus a very tough Jimmy Williams. That's on the Showtime Sports YouTube channel and Facebook page. For this card, I recommend that you guys do what I'm going to do, and that's to get there early. Every fight on the card is worthwhile. Even the very first fight on the card is a can't miss. At 5 p.m., it's a welterweight fight between LaShawn Rodriguez with a record of 13 and 0 KOs and 10 KOs and Ismail Villarreal. 11 and 0, 7 KOs. So that's the opening fight. That's a great opening fight at 5 p.m. Worth showing up early for and stay for the whole card. We'll see you Saturday night. Thanks, Stephen. As he mentioned, you know, there's going to be some undercard fights. You can see them on our Showtime Sports YouTube channel. Certainly want to check those out at 7 o'clock Eastern. And fighting there is young man who's to my right, your left, Vito Malnicki Jr. He'll be taking on Jimmy Williams. Vito, of course, from Jersey. Vito, uh, if you would, you can let the people know what does it mean to you to be fighting on this card, fighting here in Brooklyn, so close to home. What should they expect when you take on Jimmy? Expect fireworks, expect a dominant performance. I'm an elusive, explosive fighter, uh, and expect to see that this Saturday night. And that, of course, you'll see on that Showtime Sports YouTube channel. Comes your way 7 o'clock Eastern, so make sure you check that out. Then we get to the broadcast, 9 o'clock Eastern here on Showtime Championship Boxing, here from Barclays Center. Rancis Barthelemy. 29, 1 and 1. 15 knockouts. This man was a world champion at 130 pounds, 135 pounds. Rancis, you've made it no secret. You want to become the first Cuban to win world titles in three different weight divisions. How important then is this fight against this unbeaten? Raging Bull in the 140-pound division. Bueno, Rances, eh, no es ningún secreto. Vos querés ser el primer cubano en ganar el título mundial en tres divisiones distintas, pero tenés un desafío muy grande frente a ti. Entonces, ¿qué tan grande crees que es este desafío contra alguien como Gary Anton Rancés? Bueno, primero que todo quiero darle la, la, la bienvenida y las gracias a todos los presentes aquí. Eh, darle las gracias a Dios, a él. A PBC, Showtime, Espinosa, que me, casualmente me tocó sentarme al lado de él. Nada, eso es un sueño que tengo yo de, de hace mucho tiempo, después que logré mi segundo título, ¿no? Entonces me entró esa cocumilla y es algo que no me ha dejado. Estuve tan cerca cuando perdí esa pelea en 2018 de la revancha contra Arrel, que me arrebató el título y me arrebató el sueño de momento. Pero nada, después 
eh, hay un dicho que dice que el hombre no se mide por las veces que se caiga, sino por la que se levante. Y agradecer nuevamente a, a Dios y a las cosas de, de tenerme aquí y poder estar disputando, estar en la vida y en el camino para disputarle ese sueño tan anhelado que tengo. Well, first of all, thank you to everyone who's here. Thank you to uh, Heyman, to PVC, to Showtime, to Steven, who's sitting right here next to me. And, you know, it's definitely a goal that I've had for a long time, ever since I got that second belt. But that dream was snatched away from me in 2018 during that rematch where I lost and the dream kind of went away for a while. But now I'm here and I, th I thank God for this opportunity and I'm ready to show that I'm capable of winning this fight for all the Cubans and everyone that, you know, wants to see me fight on Saturday night. He'll be taking on Gary Antoine Russell. 15 and 0. None of his opponents have made it to the final bell. Gary Antoine, you heard Stephen, first of all, again, our condolences on the death of your father. You heard Stephen uh, talk about that, but this is also the first fight since the death of your father. I, I remember when he was having his health issues and your brother Antonio was fighting. And after that fight, he said, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it affected me and it affected my performance. Considering what you've had to go through through this camp, do you think it will have any effect on your performance Saturday night? I think so. Um, for the good, though, I think it'll be a benefactor. It got me for tunnel vision. Um, that support system that I once had isn't there, you know, but he is still just all with a lot of tools and information to keep us going. Um, now that he's not there, I think it's making me more focused and focusing on the things that he did teach us, you know, being more tunnel vision on the things that he wanted us to get to. We all had an issue gold as a family. Me, Mr. Gary Russell, Gary Allen Russell, all of the Russells, including my father. My father gave us the blueprint. We just trying to strive to keep it going, you know, fulfill that, that plan. Francis Bartholomew, I'm pretty sure he want to make some things happen for his country. Look, he got a goal. I got a goal too. At the end of the day, this is a, a, a game of wicks. His will versus my will. You know, his goal versus my goal. Um, Saturday, I mean, the 30th, like I said, um, Barclay Center gonna be open. Don't meet me there, beat me there. You know, um, I'm ready to put on the show. I've been training. I've been going back and forth in my mind about the things I gotta do. And, and right now, all I'm focusing on is getting through this fight day. And that's one of the things that I definitely gotta do to move on to this next mission. Um, we drawing lines as we go forward. You know, once we get past this, we're gonna draw a line, keep it going. That's that. Fantastic. Francis, tell the people why you're so confident to do something in this fight that no one else has. Not only beat Russell, but in your words, stop him. You said at the media workout, quote, I'm sitting on my punches. He needs to be wary of my power. I said it before, I'll say it again. Don't be surprised if I knock him out. Eh, Rances, eh, dijiste que lo querés noquear a Russell, que no solo vas a ser alguien que va a subir al ring, sino que lo vas a detener. ¿Qué tenés para decir a la gente para que sepa lo que vos vas a hacer en esta pelea? Bueno, nada, eh, he visto las cualidades de, de, Gary, de Gary Russell. Es un, mucho, es un hombre que viene, eh, que inviste mucho a sus rivales, lo hemos estudiado. Hemos tomado las medidas correctas en base a eso, a su característica. Y he visto que creo que, eh, eh, como dice ese dicho bien famoso en el boxeo, estilo hacen pelea. Y creo que los estilos encajan. Y creo que vamos a dar una gran pelea muy interesante en la noche del sábado. Styles make fights, you know. And we're definitely going to give the people what they want, which is an interesting, stellar, spectacular fight. And I know what Russell is all about. I know that he has his virtues, how he's undefeated. But at the same time, I believe in myself. And I know that, that I can do what I want to do on Saturday night. You're going to have to. Gary Antoine? Yeah, I was going to say, give me, give me your response. Because, listen, 
Well, I will, will the streak go to 16 on Saturday? You know it. You know it. We're going to keep it going. He's going to have to do his best. He's going to have to do his best. He had a layoff. I ain't laid off yet. I've been grinding. I'm pretty sure he's been training, but is it the trainer that he need to get through me? You know, he's going to have to. He better bring his A game. Dice que, bueno, habrás estado entrenando, pero ¿acaso es el entrenamiento que necesitas para ganarle a él? Vas a tener que estar a tu mejor nivel, simplemente para derrotarlo. ¿Qué, qué tenés para decir sobre eso? No, para eso, hemos entre, para eso he entrenado, me he sacrificado, lo he dejado todo en el, en el gimnasio. I can guarantee, that's why I've trained to fight you. I have left it all inside the gym and I'm ready to show what I'm capable of. Folks, I'm telling you, this is what's going to set the table on Saturday night. We got an unbeaten fighter taking on former world champion. Then we get to the co-main. Everyone loves heavyweights. And we got two power-punching heavyweights in the co-main. Adam Kovnowski, babyface, 20 and 2, 15 knockouts, five of his last six fights right here at Barclays Center. And Adam, you know, you're coming off back-to-back -back losses You said this is the most important fight of my career. So what does it mean then to have this fight right here in this building where you've had so much success? Uh, it means everything, you know. I can't wait to be back here on Saturday. I'm focused. Uh, my family's in Poland. I didn't buy a ticket until a couple of days ago. I was like, oh, snap, I didn't, I didn't have a ticket. I'm so focused on this fight. So I uh, can't wait to show myself on uh, July 30th, get a knockout, and go see my family in Poland. Ali Aaron, how tough of a challenge will Saturday be fighting against a guy who believes, as he just talked about, his career's on the line, and he's doing it basically in his hometown in an arena where he's had a lot of success. So, uh, Ali şöyle soruyor. Burada daha önce çok dövüş yapmış, başarıları imza atmış. Fakat iki senedir kötü giden bir kariyer var. Bunu düzeltmek için burada başarılı olduğu yerde bunun hakkında ne düşünüyorsun, ne hissediyorsun? Bu seni yani zorlayıcı bir e, his veriyor mu sana? İlk önce hepiniz hoş geldiniz. Amerika'da ve New York'ta olduğumdan dolayı çok mutluyum. E, rakibim tecrübeli bir rakip, e, güçlü bir rakip. Ama e, tabii ki son iki maçını kaybetmiş olabilir. Toparlanmak isteyecek, kimse düşmek istemez. Önemli olan o düştüğü yerden kalkmak ister. Ama benim tek hedefim buna fırsat vermemek. Bu maçı kazanmak için buraya geldim. İnşallah da kazanacağım. Um, first of all, welcome everyone. I'm so happy to be in New York, in the US. I understand he's an experienced fighter. And um, I understand he lost his last two fights. And his fight is on, his career is on the line now. But unfortunately, I'm here to win as well. And I'm... I hope I'm not going to give him a chance. Ali Aaron, you've won five straight fights. You also told the media, I didn't come here to play, I came here to win. Tell them what they can expect out of you Saturday night. Uh, Ali, daha önce buraya oynamaya gelmedim. Kazanmaya geldim, dövüşmeye geldim demişsin sosyal medyanda. Uh, buradan beklentisi olanlara ne demek istersin? Ne görecekler o gece? Dediğim gibi buraya dövüşmeye değil savaşmaya geldim. İki büyük savaşçı var. Showtime'da boks överler bizi seyretsin. So I'm here actually not to fight. I'm here for war. So I'm expecting anyone to any boxing fans watch this fight. It's going to be a war. I have to say that I don't play here. I go to war. So. <laughs> Adam, you heard him. He said, look, he, he came here for war. You said at the media workout, throw your last two fights out the window. You're going back to being the old Adam Kovnowski. What does that mean? What should we expect Saturday night? Um, broken records. <laughs> Tried to beat my record. I had with Chris Ariola about most punches thrown. Most punches thrown. And uh, yeah, I'm going to fight, man. That's what he says, it's going to be war. Welcome to Brooklyn. That's the co-main. And now we get to the main event. Two guys looking to put their stamp on the 154 pound division. Two guys new to the 154 pound division. Danny 
Swift Garcia, 36 and three. He's got 21 knockouts. Let me bring to the podium, folks, fights out of that fighting city of Philadelphia, PA, Danny Garcia. First of all, I want to thank God. You know, without him, none of this be possible. I want to thank um, Al Heyman, Team Garcia, my dad, Showtime Boxing, and everyone who uh, made this event possible, and the media. Thank the media for coming out. But, um, you know, it's been, uh, it's been 19 months since I've been in the ring, and uh, I've just been enjoying my life in and out the ring, you know, spending time with my family, you know, traveling, doing different things out the ring, but still staying in the gym. You know, during that 19 month layoff, I was still in the gym. I trained with Primetime in, in Miami. I trained with uh, Cool Boy Steph in Philly. You know, so I, I've been staying in the gym, staying running, between having fun and, and listen, 19, it don't even feel like it's 19 months. It, it feels like, to be honest, it feels like I never left. Um, I had a tremendous training camp in Philly sparred hundreds of rounds, ran hundreds of miles, did everything we were supposed to do, did conditioning, and my body feels great, my body feels great. I knew uh, after the layoff that I was gonna come up to 154 pounds, so I just let my body get bigger, I built more muscle. My mind is good, mentally, physically, I think that's the most important thing for me in this, in this part of my career, is just being mentally focused and uh, physically strong. So I feel like once Danny Garcia is mentally and physically strong that, you know, no one could touch him. And uh, I proved that before. I had a great camp, you know, and uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited to be back at the Barclays Center for my ninth time. I'm looking to break some more records here. I didn't even know Adam fought 11 times. I thought I, I, thought I was the most, so. <laughs> I guess we got a sparring match, the same I'm saying. <laughs> But I, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, Miami. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited, man, to be on the car with all the young fighters, uh, Vito, Gary Russell, man, it's just it's tremendous. I just can't wait. Um, the Danny Garcia shows back. Like I said, um, I fought 15 world champions. Steven, I didn't even know I fought that many world champions. Thank you. I got the chills listening to that. It motivated me more. So I definitely feel good. Come Saturday night, it's gonna be the Danny Garcia show again. And I appreciate everybody coming out. And if you didn't get your tickets, make sure you watch it on Showtime because it's Danny Garcia show. All I have in this world is my balls and my word. And I don't break them for no one. You understand me? And his opponent, Jose Benavidez Jr. 27 and one and one. He's got 18 knockouts as well. Talk about power puncher. Jose Benavides Jr. <clears throat> How's it going everyone? First off, I want to thank God. You know, I want to thank, thank Al Heyman, Danny Garcia's team for giving us opportunity, you know, um, my team, just everyone out there has been supporting us. <clears throat> I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I feel ready. I feel strong. And I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy to be in the mix. You know, I'm happy to fight in this big arena. And I'm ready to show the world that 154. I'm the one at 154. Gentlemen, let's talk about the fight. Jose, I'll start with you, and I flat out love your confidence. Media workout, you said, I'm going to show Danny Garcia he chose the wrong guy and has no business in the junior middleweight division. Explain that to us. Just how, just how I said it. You know? I'm the bigger guy, 154. I'm confident, I'm strong, and I'm ready. I'm ready to show everybody that. This is a new and improved me. 154, nobody's gonna touch me. Of course, Jose, trained by your father, Jose Sr. Jose Sr., question for you. 
You said, Jose's not only have to win Saturday, but it's imperative that he looks spectacular against Danny Garcia. Tell us why. Well, first of all, I want to thank all the fans here, the media, Showtime, Al Heyman, Espinosa for this great opportunity to, uh, uh, so Junior can show his talent. And, you know, he has to look impressive in order to go to the next level. Uh, I want to thank also uh, Team Garcia for giving us the opportunity to fight Danny. Uh, we're fighting a monster, man. We're fighting one of the best champions at this moment. But that motivated us a little bit more to show the world uh, once Junior beats uh, Danny Garcia, he'll be in the top and a lot of opportunities will come. I feel that he's uh, uh, doing much better. Uh, he's more focused, mature a lot. He has, I have two granddaughters uh, now, three actually, three granddaughters, and he's super motivated and, and, and it makes me feel comfortable and, and more, more uh, secure that we are gonna have a good fight uh, Saturday where there's gonna be fireworks and, and I mean, uh, we have to look impressive, like I said, you know, in order to go to the next level. Let me say something right there. I don't have to look impressive. I'm gonna look what I am. I'm a beast, and that's what I'm gonna show come Saturday, July 30th. I mean, it's easy to say these things, uh, we have to do this, we have to do that, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day I know where what what, what my talent is, and it's gonna be easy. Danny, first of all, it's been a long time. Tell us why you're back. Tell us why 154. And tell us why Barkley Center. Well, it feels good to be back, first of all. Um, and I, I'm back because I love boxing. I love to fight. This is what I do. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fighter, just like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. They love making millions, and they're 90 years old or whatever, 60 years old. I love boxing. This is what I do. And I'm excited. I knew once I took that break and I came back, I was going to come back at 154. And a lot of people don't know, like, I squeezed my body down to get to 140 and 147. So I'm a naturally big guy. And a lot of people think I'm smaller because I follow those smaller weight classes. But I think they're going to be surprised on Saturday night how strong I am. And, uh, and that's why 154? Yeah, definitely. 154. And I want to I wanna chase a new dream. I want to chase a new dream. I want to be a three-division world champion. I know what I got to take. I know what it takes. I got the skill. I got the will. And I proved that I belong here. And I'm not going to let no one take it away from me. You heard Jose say he's a bigger guy, bigger puncher, and it's going to be easy. Your response? Nothing ever comes easy against Danny Garcia. You know, don't try too hard because you, you might knock yourself out. So take it easy. Of course, Danny's trained by his father as well. Got Angel Garcia. Angel, your thoughts on what we should expect Saturday night and Danny Garcia at 154? Well, first of all, I want to thank God, Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior. What I am is none of this. First of all, we're going in there with the power of God, but that's the only man we fear. That's it. We don't fear nobody, like you said. You guys, Eric Gomez, Robert, uh, Robert Diaz from Golden Boy, when we was with Golden Boy for five years, we never turned nobody down, ever, ever. And we never picked and scratch. So ain't nothing new to us. And he ain't a bigger man. He only like one inch bigger than Danny. That's it. What's up, what, what's up with that? <laughs> like when you, when you eye to eye, you the same size. Doesn't matter. When you, when, listen, when you eye to eye, you the same size. Big dog, listen. I'll show you the big dog. Hey, is. Listen, I'm gonna show you guys. We got right. work. You know, I don't, want, I don't have to we say much. I don't have to say much. No, I'm gonna let my friends do the talking, all right? Brother, That's exactly, it. exactly. So they don't underestimate the bad guy. Nobody's, uh, no, nobody's underestimating anybody. You I told you guys. Fight. I told you guys, you know, I listen, thank you for the opportunity. You don't have no skills, Papa. Okay, and you guys don't. I mean, you don't have no skills, Papa. I mean, where are the words? Papa, I seen you in your we'll video. We'll see, okay, don't matter. I mean, you guys are to fucking Porter. I'm gonna call you Chad. Listen, okay, look, look. how many fights look, you check had? Check this out. Yeah, enough of the talking, and let's do you a fight outside. 26 right. people. 27, What about you right? guys? What about what? Let him finish. Let him finish. What are you talking about? Finish, finish. Okay. About Danny yeah, okay. Finish we ready. July 30th on Showtime. Don't forget the Danny Garcia show, the greatest show on earth. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Danny Garcia show, the greatest show on earth. The Danny Garcia show. Oh, man, that's right. We hit the story, baby. Listen, uh, we're from Philly, baby. Listen, you want to be a champion? I'm from Phoenix. You're from Phoenix. Listen, Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix. Ph
Philly, I'm from Phoenix. You got it in Philly, you be a champion. You got it, got it, got it. Salam alaikum. So we'll, we'll finish with this. They're expecting thousands here at Barclay, a packed house. Million people watching this fight on Saturday night, Jose. What can you guarantee us that they are going to get when you two step into the ring on Saturday night? It's going to be a good fight. It's going to be a fireworks. Like I said, I respect Danny Garcia's dad just talks so much. Danny Garcia, you know, he, he's a good fighter. Nothing, nothing against him. His he's a great fighter. Not a good fighter, but a great fighter. 14 undefeated, I mean 14 champion under his belt. Okay, defending his title 10 times. You can win a title, defend it. Got to win it, you lose it the next time they defend it. That tells you a lot. We don't have... Well, well I think you know, you're like, you're fine. You know, if you fight, you're like, you're fine. You win your mouth. You know what I was talking about? You're not the one. You're not the one. You're not the one. You're not the one. You're not the one. You're not the one. You're not the one. You're not the one. You're not the one. You're not the one. I got it. It's not even cheating, it's corruption. I got it. Let, let me God know. bless America. I got it. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> Finish. Grab the mic from your dad. Go Are ahead. we in war right now? We don't have nothing much. No, we're not. I, I, respect, I respect their team, you know, I, I, I think the yeah. opportunity. Let's just let the, the faces of the top. Fantastic. Danny? I told y'all not to give him the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, <laughs> we'll, we'll finish it with you. Same question. What's up? For the thousand, I mean, they're expecting a good... 15,000 people up here at Barclays Center. Millions watching this fight. What can you guarantee us that we're going to get when you two step in the ring Saturday night? You know, I'm going to go out there and have fun and do what I do best in the fight. So find a way. That's what I always do. Do what I do. Same thing you always see. Danny Garcia going there. Great show. Great fight. And get this W. And what's the message then you send it to the 154 pound division? Because it is going to be your first fight at this weight. What's Definitely. the message you send in them Saturday night? You know, we're showing we're here. We're here. We're here. We ain't going nowhere. Jose, same thing to you. Message, message you send it to the 154 pound division. They're going to see it. They're going to see it come out. Like I said, I'm not going to say much. Check. Do it matters? 54, 60, 40. 47. <laughs> Come on, Jack. I got it, Angel. How many fights you had again? But that is what we've got here, folks. And it all goes down Saturday, 9 o'clock Eastern. Showtime Championship Boxing, Danny Garcia, Jose Benavidez. The Danny Garcia Jr. Show. Don't forget the greatest show on earth. <laughs> Make sure to tune in, folks. Thanks for tuning Coffee in. Tree, Guys, you. we're going to face off, correct? Let's get some faces off. We're gonna face off the fighters. Showtime for five guys. Danny Adam hit the five. All right, thanks, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos 
of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV. And give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.